Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, same day, uh, May 18th, 2022. I finally, uh, USGS's site was back up, so I downloaded some images for us to take a look at in ArcGIS Pro. Alright, so I'm going to minimize some things here. Actually, what I can do first is we'll go ahead and get rid of these because I won't need these. The uh, May 11th, 1980 images, there were some problems in the imagery. So I had to go back to uh, February 12th, 1980 to get a relatively clear image. All right, so what we're looking at is, I'm gonna turn some of these off, okay? In the last video, uh, I had this, um, uh, what date is this? This would be October 24th, 2019, okay? We saw that last in the last video. And then this was August 23rd, 1981, so a year and three months after the eruption of Mount St. Helens. Uh, this image, uh, anything that's in 1981 or 1980, that would have been Landsat 3, okay? So let's look at this February 12th, 1980. And this is prior to the eruption of the volcano. Okay. Now, there have been some great advances in, uh, in the sensors. So they're not as clear. Um, in the older images plus you'll get these artifacts across your images that you would have to use your imaging software to correct and I'm not doing that right now all right so what we're looking at is I'm gonna turn off this one here all right so what we're looking at is this is Mount St. Helens prior to the eruption uh, in February the eruption was May Okay, so we have a fully intact volcano, and I'm trying to find Spirit Lake, and here's Spirit Lake right here. See how small it is? Okay, and then these, um, there, are, there are no clouds in this image. Um, there is snow on the ground, and you can see that the snow is in these clear-cut areas of the forest, all right? And this is using the uh, infrared bands, which would be um, 5, 4, and 3. F well, five, 5 is the infrared, 4 is the red band of visible light. And three is the green band of visible light. All right. So we're looking at a false color image of prior to the eruption. Now I'm going to bring up the August of 1981. And that would be this image here. And I am going to go into swipe. Whoops, I gotta, I gotta select the image. There we go. All right, we'll go into swipe. And we're gonna swipe away prior to the eruption to a year after the eruption. All right. So we're doing some visual change detection is basically what we're doing in ArcGIS Pro. So here is Mount St. Helens prior to the eruption. 
and a year after the eruption. Okay, now notice, all right, I pointed at the wrong spot. So this right here, this little, this little white frozen lake is Spirit Lake prior to the eruption. Now, a, kilo, a square kilometer of landslide went down the north face of the volcano and that opened up basically the released the pressure and created a um, uh, a lateral eruption meaning that the eruption didn't go straight up into the atmosphere it blew to the north okay that's called a lateral eruption now let's swipe and look at spirit lake right right where the cursor is right here okay and this is spirit lake after the eruption see how large it is it comes way down here all right so spirit lake size increased tremendously after the eruption okay all right, and obviously you can see the famous horseshoe caldera of the eruption, okay? And then you can see all the clear-cut areas in the, uh, the snow-covered clear-cut areas, all these little white specks. They are not clouds. That's snow on the ground, okay? And you can see the effect of the logging industry back then okay but spirit lake is the biggest change huge well it's not the biggest change but it's an obvious change in the size of the lake okay and then we'll and then you can see the effects of the lahar along the creeks and the river okay so I showed some of that last time. The only thing I didn't have was the pre-eruption image. Now I am going to turn off the uh, pre, okay? And you saw the eight, 1981. Now let's bring up the most current image. And this is using Landsat 9, which is brand new. She's... She's only been working for a little over a year now. Okay, so she's brand new. All right. Now, the white in this particular image are clouds. All right. So there is a lot of cloud cover in this image, but that's okay because I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, I can get it. I can just go back until I find a cloudless day. But uh, we're concentrating on the actual uh, volcano itself, okay? And if you notice, here's Spirit Lake. So let's turn on. Notice that the tree raft is now all the way up in this corner, okay? So this image was taken yesterday. This image was taken, uh, Landsat 9, the newest bird in space, took this image yesterday, okay? And it was uh, made available today, because it usually takes them a day to get things done. So it acquired this image yesterday. And let's turn on 80, 1980. So here's Spirit Like. Okay, I'm not sure where Harry Truman's lodge was. Um, most uh, you locals will probably know better than I can. I believe this is Johnson Ridge, where the geologist uh, Gary Johnson is that right? I got that right? I can't remember. Anyway, he was camped up on top of this ridge monitoring the volcano when it erupted. Uh, sorry to say that he is no longer with us now. 
um, but now this is the Johnson Ridge Observatory uh, named in his honor. So let's turn on swipe. Oh, I have swipe on. All right, so now we're looking. Um, this is the prior to the eruption, and this was yesterday's image. So if you can look, at the size of Spirit Lake. It's a lot bigger than it used to be. Okay. In infrared, water, uh, clear, clean, cleanish, I guess you can say, water shows up black in Landsat. Okay. So this, this brown at the top in this area here is the uh, log raft that has been floating on Spirit Lake for 42 years. Yeah, that's, that's nothing but tree logs, uh, tree trunks that have been, they meander around the, the, around the lake uh, throughout the year, depending on the, the, the wind, okay? And if we bring up the um, 2019 image, there we go. So uh, this is, oh, uh, the blue is snow and ice, okay? Um, in this particular band combination, which is seven, four, and three. Uh, inf uh, infrared, uh, red visible, and uh, green visible. All right, snow and ice shows up blue, okay, or greenish blue, aqua. All right, so you're looking at snow and ice is this, all of this stuff, okay? Now, if I swipe to, uh, what was this, October 24th, 2019, you can see how the raft was oriented on Spirit Lake uh, three years ago. So it has all migrated up to the northeast bay of Spirit Lake. Okay, and obviously in... I guess in um, October there wasn't much snow on the ground other than the higher ridges here and the mountain itself. So yeah, that's another look at the Landsat of Mount St. Helens on this day of remembrance. Uh, quite the event. I know exactly where I was at that time. And uh, it's been a fascination of mine ever since. So yeah, you could see in the twenty in the twenty nineteen image we have some clouds and mist inside the caldera, and then yesterday it was pretty much crystal clear, except for obviously some some clouds here. But we got snow and ice on the grounds so and this is uh, Mount Adam I believe another volcano and I don't think Rainier shows up in this but Rainier is up here actually I believe that this is the beginning of Rainier up here okay the Columbia River all right so this was a supplement of the last video I did so let's bring up uh, the before and after. So that's before. And let's get today's. Let me turn off 2019. So that's today. I mean, uh, a few months before the eruption. And that's yesterday's image. All right, so I hope you liked the uh, summary, <laughs> the revisit of the video I just did uh, uh, a couple hours ago. Um, but anyway, 
uh, just I told you I'd get the as soon as you USGS was up I'd get that nearest image plus I'd also hunt and find my 1980 image so there we are Mount St. Helens uh, 42 years ago today subscribe if you'd like please uh, comment hit the notification bell and if you want to support me in my research uh, buymeacoffee.com slash my physical world you guys have a great day and i think i'm done recording f for the day have a great weekend we'll see you all later